your eyes could win a prize in Maryland's Beautiful Eyes contest. Call 243-2020. From the NBC studios in Burbank, California, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, featuring Bradford Marsalis and The Tonight Show Band. Tonight, Jay welcomes Billy Crystal, the music of Shanice, and economic correspondent Robert Prolwich. I'm Ed Hall, and now, Jay Leno! is The Tonight Show, the one, uh, the one TV program Dan Quayle hates even more than Murphy Brown. Yeah. You really all know about this. Dan Quayle, Dan Quayle very upset with the TV program Murphy Brown. He says the idea of Murphy Brown giving birth as a single parent is damaging to the morals of our youth. Well, I think that's unfair, huh? I mean, I don't see him criticizing Porky Pig and Donald Duck for running around all those years with no pants on, huh? Sure, how about that? Well, was quite serious about this. He says, uh, Murphy Brown giving birth out of wedlock mocks the importance of fathers. In fact, Quayle said just the other day, where would I have been without my father? Where? <laughs> Probably Vietnam, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, there's one thing you can say about Murphy Brown you can't say for sure about Dan Quayle. At least we know she'll be back in the fall. Yeah, so that's... <laughs> Not just Republicans, Democratic candidate Bill Clinton said he is also troubled by the amount of sex portrayed on television. Clinton says where he comes from, sex is a deeply personal matter between a candidate and his campaign volunteers. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> deeply personal. But you, know, so you know something? You know, the most annoying thing about this campaign is we still don't know where the candidates stand on the issues. I mean, all we know for sure is that Ross Perot hasn't said anything, Bush hasn't done anything, and Clinton hasn't inhaled anything. That's all we know. <laughs> we got some Perot fans here, probably? Yeah. Well, the latest, the latest polls show Ross Perot is ahead of all the other candidates. You know, it seems the less Perot says, the more popular he gets. <laughs> this is a point Dan Quayle has yet to grasp. <laughs> Don't say anything. But enough about the candidates. Have a lot of out-of-towners here? Folks who came from out-of-town? Oh, all over the place? Okay. Let me be the first to welcome you to Los Angeles, or as President Bush calls it, Operation Desert Storm, the home game. <laughs> you know, it was amazing to me that we had federal troops stationed on the streets of Los Angeles. In fact, you seen those new recruitment posters? Join the Army and see Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. It was great for Bob Hope. It was the first time in his career he was able to entertain the troops while standing on his back porch. You know, just... <laughs> you know what I like? I like when the presidential candidates take advantage of this kind of thing. Do you all see the candidates touring the riot-torn areas? Well, here's the part that was interesting to me. After the candidates walk through the area, the looting stopped. You know what I'm saying? After the candidates walk through, people stop looting. I guess they figured once politicians have been through a place, <laughs> there's nothing left to steal. You know, that's it. <laughs> and here, here's one of the odder stories about the riots. This is true, Madonna's bra was stolen from Fredericks of Hollywood. I'm not making that up. One of the famous bras she uses in her stage show, still missing. Big reward being offered for it, but 
police fear it may have already been broken up and sold for scrap metal. Yes. <laughs> but, but one positive sign, the looters are continuing to return things that were taken during the riots, which is good. I, I think that's nice. In fact, today, Kentucky Fried Chicken announced someone had returned five of the 11 secret herbs and spices. So I think that, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see. You know, I'll tell you one thing, a lot of the looters who stole stuff from Sears are starting to regret it, boy. So, no, no, it's, it's not that they're afraid the police are catching up with them, it's just that Sears keeps calling them day and night trying to sell them those stupid extended warranties. You know? <laughs> and of course, you know... Boy, there's been a lot of finger-pointing who's to, uh, over who's to blame for the riots, you know. Uh, Bush said it's the fault of the Democrats and all their social policies from the 60s. Clinton said it's the Republicans' fault. Today, Police Chief Dal Gates says that he knows whose fault. He said it's the fault of the Japanese. He said if they hadn't invented that stupid camcorder, none of this would have happened. <laughs> now here... Here's an interesting item. Medical researchers at the University of California have developed a new heart attack resuscitation device that uses a common toilet plunger. I'm not making it up. It's in the paper today. It uses a toilet plunger to resuscitate people that have had a heart attack. That's great, huh? As if doctors aren't expensive enough. Now you gotta call a plumber, too? <laughs> and... Last but not least, in Texas, it turns out those bees that stung the man to death, you read about that? They were not killer bees after all. They weren't killer bees. Turns out they were just ordinary honeybees that were really upset over the Rodney King verdict. Yeah. <laughs> We have a good show. Billy Crystal is here. The music of Shanice. And Robert Crowley, economist Robert Crowley. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we get on with the show, I'd like to take this moment to tell you all about a special, special cause that we here at The Tonight Show hold near and dear to our hearts. Please take a look at the monitors right here. This is Leona. Leona lives in a cold, dark room, six by eight, with no windows, no hot water, and worst of all, no room service. However, there is hope, thanks to Feed the Felons. I'm Ed Hall. Did you know that for as little as $271 a day, you can provide Leona with the bare essentials she needs to live? Things like hors d'oeuvres, maid service, and those little mints for her pillow at night. And Leona's not alone in her suffering. There are many more. People like Jim, Charlie, and little Manuel. All part of the fastest growing group of underprivileged people in America. The needy greedy. With your sponsorship, each month you'll receive an update on your felon's progress. Including their appeals, parole reviews, and a special calendar marking their release date. And twice a year, you'll receive a personal letter from your felon containing a keepsake made especially for you. <laughs> so that's your help. Send your money to Feed the Felons, Beverly Hills, California, 90210. After all, if we can get them to like prison, who knows? Maybe they'll stay there. Please give generously. You know, when you're putting a show like this together, obviously music is, is a very important part of it. And when we went looking for a musical director, I had one name at the top of my list. Now, I'm not kidding, this was my first choice. And you say to yourself, boy, when you get, whenever you can get your first choice, that's the way to go. He's on the road more than I am. I, I tracked him down through a bunch of different places. I finally got him. We talked on the phone one night for about nine hours and realized he's the best man for the job from Louisiana. Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, Branford Marsalis, and the Tonight Show Band.
see you, my friend. Now, see, isn't this what I told you to be like? <laughs> you know, he was, he was doing a gig in some little backwater place, and I caught you right at the right time. Remember, I, I said, you didn't, no, you didn't want this gig at first. Remember you said that? Yeah, I said, no. I said, thank you, but uh, no. No? <laughs> and uh, I went back to the guys in the group, and I said, uh, funny thing, you know, funny thing happened. Uh, Jay Leno called and said, you know, he wanted us to be uh, the band in Tonight Show. He said, what'd you say? I said, I told him no. And he said, are you crazy? <laughs> tell him yes. Call him back and tell him yes. <laughs> I called him back, said, called you back, said, yeah. Yeah, well, this is good. When I told you you could do the kind of music you want to do, sounds good to me. That was it. And we should explain. People get asking, this is not a m bell tone miracle ear in the side of your head, is there? That's what oh, it yeah. is. That's well, what we use to communicate with the guys. What? What <laughs> did he say? <laughs> what did he s No, it's, uh... Basically, I have to be in communication with the booth for those yeah. of you who don't know. So, you know, while we're playing the music, and you know, it's like you hear lovely things like 15 seconds, five seconds, stop, shut up, just don't play. So, that's what this is. Well, explain, <laughs> introduce us to the band. Okay. What? 15 seconds? Oh, okay. So, I'm going to introduce the band. Okay. From El Paso, Texas, Mr. Sal Marquez. Sal Marquez. Oh, Hispanic Jay Leno looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> and on the trombone from Livermore, California, Matt Fenders. Now Matt has something Matt has something he wants to show us. Matt. Now you said you had a surprise for me. What do you got? My daughter made this. Oh. Oh, is that that's great. Is that supposed to be me? That's you. Very talented young woman you have there. Good, good, good. All right. And on the bass from Detroit, Michigan, mm -hmm. Mr. Robert Hurst III. Robert Hurst III. All right, you see, that's... Apparently, he was our third choice. First and second were not available, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> on the drums from Pittsburgh, PA, Mr. Jeff Tane uh, Watts. Yes. Yeah. I think we, uh, we picked him right off Liberty Avenue for this job, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> they're the big O, right? People know, yeah, so, they're the big O. <laughs> and from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Mr. Kevin Eubanks. Kevin Eubanks. <laughs> A lot of people I know Kevin is the son of Bob Eubanks from the dating game, I guess. <laughs> you look a lot alike, too. Yeah, yeah. And on the piano from Brooklyn, New York, Mr. Oh, Kenneth I heard of David that. Yeah. Kirkland. Kenny Kirkland, yeah. And of course, Last and certainly not least. And our most attractive band member. Absolutely. From San Francisco, California, Vicki Randall. Yeah! Branford, <laughs> welcome aboard. Good to be here again. Be right back right after this. Branford, Marcel. The Tonight Show will return with our first guest, Billy Crystal. Here's a story worth repeating. Bill buys a Honda. Thank you, Henry. Come on, Duke. Bye, Bill. Now, over the years, Bill drives and drives. Hey, look, horses, Duke. And drives his Honda. Then, when it's time, Bill trades his Honda. Well, thanks again, Bill. Thank you, Henry. For another Honda. Honda. Number one in owner loyalty. Again. to work for it. And Cali is working to make Baltimore the city that reads. And you can help him by pledging money for each home run he hits this season. You'll be helping to guarantee a brighter future for Baltimoreans who are learning to read. So join Cal's team, Reading, Runs, and Rifkin. For more information, call 576-READ. Why use these hazardous waste products around your home when simple, non-toxic alternatives can do a great cleaning job? From News Channel 2, Project Environment Tip Number 4. 
The next time you clean your windows, use a mixture of white vinegar and water. It works great. And try a reusable rag instead of paper towels. It's good for your pocketbook, and it's good for the planet, too. This Project Environment Tip was brought to you by News Channel 2. Friends you can turn to. to you live. You're seeing this right now as it happens. We're not on tape. It's live, live, live. And I can't think of a better way to kick off the show than with uh, my first guest. Boy, he's an old friend of mine. Popular actor, terrific comedian, and his new movie, Mr. Saturday Night, opens later this year. Please welcome Billy Crystal. <laughs> can't oh, leave well I'm enough so alone. Oh, Is this the 60s? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I so Ed McMahon on the corner with a sign that said, we'll announce for food. Oh. What the hell's going on here, man? He's holding me. Thank you very Something's much. Something's going nuts. Uh, I have to tell you something, Jay. Yes, what is it now? Uh, no, no, I mean this. You know, we go back a long time. A long time? 20 years, and... So emotional. No, no, I'm, I'm moved, because... <laughs> The build-up for this, mm -hmm. you know, has been tremendous, and mm -hmm. I just want to say, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, I, I... And I felt so bad about this that, you know... I, what do you have there? Well, it's a little thing. Last week, you know... Why do I think I should go to commercial right now? No, no, I, What is this? What stay with do? me. <laughs> uh, last week, I saw Bette Midler sing this song to... <laughs> You know, we know each other a long time, so just uh. just trust me. I was so inspired by what... Are you gonna sing no, no, I mean, I was so inspired by what she did that I decided uh. to rip it off. And, oh. Bet, if you're watching, Jay, this is for you. This is for after 20 years. Oh, I see. Thank you. Dear Mr. Leno, I am writing this to you, and I hope that you will read it so you'll know. You're gonna get me in trouble. Go ahead. My heart beats like a hammer, and I stutter and I stammer, because you're now the new host of The Tonight Show. I guess I'm just another fan of yours, and I thought I'd write to tell you so. Oh. made me first guest. I didn't want to do it. My agent really blew it. I like your set, but that picture of the sea now, it makes me want to pee now. The don't come out till fall. Why am I Nothing to plug at all. Jay, your competition is growing, as you know now. My mother has a show now. If my son is out there, call me. We'll be right back. This night is like a test, and though it's crass, you will kick Arsenio's ass. Jokes are just as funny. Hope G is paying you half of Johnny's money. I'm proud to be your first guest. Oh, Jay, I'm proud to be your first Mr. 
Mark Shaman on the piano who wrote the, wrote those lyrics with me. Oh, very good, very, very inspiring. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you for that. Hey, this is great. This is great. That's the great thing about live, they can't edit any of it out. No. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. Now, you... Uh, what are you yelling at me for? I'm not, I'm not yelling. Right. You're just a lot of music. You got the job. You know, you're acting like, you're acting like your co 